Is it palm oil is bad? In the Western countries, palm oil production is portrayed as destructive to the flora and fauna. Orangutan is one of the iconic figure used for this negative perception. There are aggressive campaign on banning of palm oil based products that related to deforestation. How about other oil producing crops? Is there no destruction caused by other crops? When we talk about sustainability, the production must comply to these three sustainability pillars social, environmental, economic, and sustainable production is under the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. There are many issues that are related to palm oil. Let's see whether palm oil is a bad or more sustainable oil compared to other crops from Malaysia's perspective. In terms of land use, Palm oil production used the least land area among the major oil producing crops. Oil palm produces seven times more oils as compared to soy. Banning of palm oil and substitution to more land hungry crops to meet the global demand of vegetable oils will possibly cause more destruction to the environment. Yes, crops may be not comparable to forest trees, however, it is a fact that oil palm is able to release more oxygen and absorb more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This may help in minimizing the greenhouse gases that contributing to global warming. In Malaysia, the forests are protected. In 2015 it was reported that Malaysia still have 67.6% .6 forest of the total land area. This is better than other developed and developing countries in the world. Global deforestation is not mainly caused by oil palm cultivation. Oil palm contributing to 2.5% of the global deforestation, which is lower as compared to other crops, and livestock industry is one of the biggest contributor to the global deforestation. According to the current principles and criteria of sustainable palm oil certification schemes in Malaysia, which are MSPO and RSPO. Deforestation for new plantings is not allowed anymore to stop further destruction to the environment. There are many oil palms plantations in Malaysia comply to the sustainable practices of oil palm production. Riparian or buffer zones are established along waterways to conserve fresh water ecosystem and provide habitat for land-based animals. This zones also minimize the leaching of agrochemicals used in the plantation to the water bodies. Palm oil production practices zero burning policy. This policy minimizes the impacts of oil palm cultivation to the air quality and prevent haze problems. The economic life of palm oil is 20 to 25 years. After that, they need to be replanted. During replanting, the old oil palms are felled chipped and left to rot in the field. Decomposition of this materials in the field provide nutrients to the soil that can be used by newly planted oil palm. In addition, mulching using oil palm wastes and use of leguminous covers in the plantations helps in soil nutrients conservation, and many other benefits. Other than that, oil palm field can be intercropped with various food crops that may help in food security, improve income and reduce pests and diseases. In addition, integrating livestock in the oil palm plantation can maximize the land use and at the same time improve meat production in Malaysia. Byproducts or wastes are valuable renewable natural resources that can be converted to other useful products, such as animal feeds, and other products. The use of integrated pests and diseases management in the plantation minimizes the dependency to use of chemicals. For example, use of beneficial plants to attract insect predators. And the use of barn owned to control rats. Palm oil is one of the best vegetable oil if they are produced sustainably. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel.